Hello. Hello. Oh, cool. Builder pattern. I love that. <laughs> uh, <laughs> all right. I see the assignment I'm downloading. Um, yeah, good time. yeah. Good times. Thank you. Um, so is this, uh, I'll just put this down as folder number eight, assignment zero. Yeah, builder assignment. <laughs> Super fun. Um, so, uh, what is, what, like, the outline of this assignment? So this is, this is really simple. Um, I just got confused by the professor and the way he was setting it up. Okay. And then, like, I, it got me just a little bit lost. And I was like, uh, his example just got, like, uh, I got a little bit confused. Okay. I hope uh, I can help. Uh, I'm actually not super familiar with the different patterns that there are. Every time I look into it, I, I, I find myself thinking, like, there's a name for that? That's just, like, a thing that you should do, I would think. Like, I love that. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but anyway. Well, uh, I, I, think, I think you can definitely help me with this. It's just a... Um... I just don't know the best way to go about it, and I don't know if what I want to do, like, breaks the design pattern, and that you might not know, uh, which is yeah. fine. But we yeah. can at least, like, get it working. It's just, uh... So I have my... I have... I, I like, I made my, um... Abstract class warrior, and within it we have defensive and aggressive warriors. And so we want to build each of these warrior types based on what, like, people input for their attack defense and like level values um where i get lost is with the builder in his example in class do this like aggressive builder okay um and so i'm like are we supposed to be doing polymorphism with that and then uh if so do i need to now pull out my builder class and make that into another abstract class okay. so that's where i was starting to get a little bit confused gotcha and um, I know that from the test files. So we can look at we can look at what's there. Uh, do you remember uh, the last time we met? How there was <laughs> like the trying to send in the object, but during testing it didn't work because it wasn't the same object. Correct. Um, yeah. So by the time it got so to the thing, yeah. So so he never got back to me on that one. Like what um, what was okay. weird in particular? I know I bothered about it a couple times. Uh, I think maybe after, like, I think maybe during summer he might circle back to the code just because he was like, I know why you did that, but I'm confused why it's happening. I'm like, yeah. <laughs> uh, it's your assignment, Wait, bro. But, what was but in this his one, solution? I have or no idea. He... He, didn't, okay. he didn't, he didn't, he didn't give me one. And I'm like, just send me your code. Like, come on. Like, what? Okay. But the good news is we're not using the Mokito stuff anymore. Like, we're done with that. Okay. Well, I I don't know that this is a problem with Mokito. I think it was a problem more with like the the whole design. The whole design, yeah. Yeah. Like yeah. Yeah. Anyway, um, all right. So builder pattern. Uh, you have different kinds of builders: aggressive warrior. Wait, building a different kinds of warriors. Okay. Yeah. Three attributes. And aggressive warriors have a default stack of whatever and whatever. This sounds like constructors. Why not just use constructors? They want it so they're immutable. That is the argument we were given. You... The warriors are you immutable, make... and you... I, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> you can make immutable... Constructors that return an immutable object. <laughs> but okay. Uh all right, let's let's read the assignment, I guess, and see if yeah. we can divine what was going on in their head. I've I've I uh I actually have encountered the build builder pattern before, but I don't remember the like it, again, it seems like a 
that sounds like just constructors. Isn't that constructors? Why don't you just use constructors? Maybe this I, comes yeah. into play in larger projects where... I think that's like, what it is. Yeah. Well, and, and then what they were saying... So so in this example, what they were saying is yeah. that you could have for your warriors, like, let's say... Because the other example one we did was with pizzas, where you can okay. have, like, a ton of optional parameters, uh -huh. but you never know, like, how many you want to add in. And this way, when you're using builders um you have like one that's required and then you can pass in as many as you want and it, it it'll always build that object uh based on your your builder object instead um and that was like some of the argument for why you would go about doing it okay all right it wasn't like the best argument but i was like okay fine like sure i can uh, see it but yeah. yeah um okay so use the builder pattern design design pattern to create two classes aggressive warrior and defensive warrior warriors have three attributes all integers level attack and defense level is required attack and defense are optional aggressive warriors have default uh, attack of three and defense of two and the other way around for defensive warriors warriors must be immutable the order of things matters in your class so I think the point here is that the builder needs to be at the bottom. And I'm like, okay, that's fine. Okay. I don't know. I found that confusing, too. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I, think, I think maybe just as, like, a convention. Yeah. This is what I... Actually, I usually see, yeah, fields, then constructor, then methods. And constructor. Then yeah, a main that, method that, at builds... the bottom. I don't yeah. see builders. Uh, you don't have to increase default. Um, okay, so using a using default visibility is fine where private does not seem to fit. Uh, what is the default visibility in Java? Is there a default visibility? Don't you have to say what the visibility is always? I I can you you don't have to declare. Interesting. I don't I don't know. If you have to declare. Uh, because I know, I know. In an example, he had started with just like int and level. I changed mine to protected when I was working. Okay. Um, but I know he for a while he was just doing int level, int defend, int attack. Uh, okay. And but... this is an abstract class. Is this one a concrete? Yes, it is. Okay. So yeah. Let me try. Uh, building that. Okay, and now let me try not putting a visibility on something. Oops. And see if it'll work, yeah. Yeah, and see if it still builds. Oops. Oh. Huh. Okay, I totally don't know what the default visibility is. Uh, <laughs> but okay, cool. Um, back to here. Okay, so default visibility is fine where private does not seem to fit. Always try private first, then increase visibility as needed. And you put it as protected. Validation, negative values for level attack and defense are invalid. There are tests for this. Okay. Okay. So in the uh, test file, that's what but, he means. And so I, if they're yeah. immutable and you have builders, then... That's what I don't understand, too. Yeah. Wouldn't... Okay, cool. Um, fair warning. <laughs> so far, the assignments in this course have been easy in the sense that oh, you, this if is... you follow the directions, made sure This is just nonsense. Oh, okay. Yeah. He's just saying, like, he doesn't tell you how to build all of your things, but it's like, I'm like, this is fine. Like, this is almost easier in a way, but whatever. Yeah, actually, I, I'm happy that, that he's explicitly saying this. I feel like some courses I have taught students mm -hmm. uh, or uh, tutored students, they've this has been true, but the teacher never said it. So they were spending a lot of time 
wondering what it is they were supposed mm-hmm. to do when the answer was that's like part of the assignment figure that out figure out what to do right um, right so right, I, right i think it's kind of cool that i think that's what this is saying i didn't actually read the whole thing I, but that's the I think you're right um, yeah yeah cool. all right so then so you were saying let's go into the test file um yes yeah, so now if you go into the test file okay so here uh where it will fail so if you keep scrolling keep going okay here so when he calls builder so like new aggressive warrior dot builder like line 80 um i know these are the exceptions but whenever it calls builder it calls builder as just that builder class uh but in the example since we have different default values and different default warriors that we're building either aggressive or defensive with those different values we had started in class doing like an aggressive builder that's an extension of builder within that warrior abstract class um but the way that the tests are written they only ever call builder that main class so my task now is to fix it so it works. And you're not supposed to just do this? <laughs> Correct. I am not supposed to do that. Okay. And so I so my so I had questions about like how best to go about doing that. And it's like, is the, at this point, am I supposed to pull builder into its own abstract class? But then am I breaking? Does that violate like the build? builder pattern like is builder supposed to be within because then because then we're also have we have a problem with recreating like a lot of redundant code where is builder builder is in the bottom of the warrior abstract class Uh... Yeah, so we have public static class line 19, you start builder. And then that's the whole file. Okay. And and so... I, and, and like I I guess yeah. that you could also make the argument that like cuz in all the examples we were given builder goes within a class uh at the bottom so i like i don't know if it's like kosher to pull out and have like a warrior builder class and then uh, yeah i just don't know because because i know i assume i could use polymorphism or whatever to get the right builder to call uh but i'm not sure like here this builder yeah. could refer to this or any descendant of yeah exactly that's what i was thinking uh cuz it only it only ever calls builder so so my th- the thing i have to solve is making sure it calls the right builder uh let's see throw illegal state exception are you not allowed to here say if like level is less than 0 so they told us in their thing in their thing they they were saying that doing the exceptions there was the least desirable option and they said you should put it in um in like when you build so we do the validation i made a a validate Uh, okay method and then i put it in when we build yeah because their argument was okay for the single role whatever yeah because maybe you have instead of one of these things that just sets or yeah yeah okay so you could have a dot attack that has a negative value and uh so the build is the last thing so this is when it has the values that you want to check uh yeah okay so then oh it looks like it already has that. So then does this 
I thought you said this failed. But it, it will fail seem... because of Builder. Oh. What's wrong with that? Because with Builder, if you go in, uh, we have aggressive Builder and defensive Builder. And as the code is currently written... Oh. This is, like, it, never, it doesn't yeah. know this, what this is? Yes. Correct, uh, correct, yeah. And so, um, so... So I don't know how best to change it so it works. It could be that... Like, I don't know if he was just coding on the fly and he forgot how this assignment worked, but like the reason I went the aggressive builder route is because that's what we had been shown. Okay, so uh, let's go back here. Yeah, if you look here, like right builder there. Extends builder. Yeah. Um, hmm. And all this could be wrong, and I'm, I should scrap it and do something different. I just don't know. Um, I think in the test files, hold on, let me see where else. Maybe in Aggressive Warrior, you Yeah, can... so anytime it built one, yeah. Maybe in here you can open up the builder class. Okay. I I don't know if that's a thing you can do. Okay. And then here you would put like um what are the names of the fields? Uh level. So you could do Is there a No, there isn't. Um so you could maybe have like a uh, private static default uh, level equals zero, or, or uh, I guess not private. You would need it to be protected so that, or actually, I don't know. Uh, so <laughs> yeah, it might be that you can do this and then in here you can update default level to be something else and like do the same thing for the the fields i guess that's the one field that doesn't matter the other the other ones uh private static int int um defense uh the default defense is i don't know do you know what uh for which which one for for just warrior for the abstract class is there one i guess zero no they they don't have okay. one no so i'll just say that and then if uh let's see this one is aggressive so attack can be three and defense can be two i don't know if you can do this that's a guess that I have, though, about how you might make that test work. Um, and then... Uh, but I don't, I don't... Yeah, now that I'm looking at this, I don't think that'll work. I don't think you can open up an existing class. At least not yeah. like this. You can do it with reflection in Java. Um, but that's probably not what they intended uh right and so and since that's updating default attack and default defense are those well i don't think this will work uh um, okay okay now that i'm doing it uh yeah i yeah. guess we could we could try and see what happens um, okay the, the idea is yeah you would update those fields and then uh this line would because it's doing builder from within aggressive, aggressive warrior, they would set those fields. Maybe I'm not super sure about that. Okay. Um, actually, what? Let's see. So you have builder and then parentheses here, and that would. 
That would set the level to negative one, which isn't accepted. Would, that would call this it, constructor? Yes. Public static class builder. Yeah. And then here you would have to do like default level. Instead, yeah. right. I don't know. Maybe this will work. I don't. I don't think so. Uh, attack. And then when you construct builder instead of int level, does it need to be default level for right oh, there? Yeah, for twenty six. Um, no, I guess this would be level because this is okay. This is the argument. So right. Okay. Okay. So maybe you just end up not needing this one. And that just sets the default. Um. Yeah, I don't know. I suppose we can write the code and then see if it works. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, default attack, default defense. This is now builder. Uh, and oh, or maybe we can override. Here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe. Well, let's see what happens. <laughs> let's see. Uh. Oh shoot, I don't know. Uh what am I doing? Yeah, it doesn't like that. Um identifier expected. Oh, I probably just didn't say no I did. Private static int default defense. What is the issue? Oh, uh that is in aggressive warrior. Yeah, okay, so it doesn't like this. Uh um, Okay. If we Oh, so it is okay with doing this? Oh, because this would be aggressive warrior dot builder, not warrior dot builder. Uh oh, but that's what the test is. Aggressive warrior dot builder. Oh, builder, and right, right, you right. We're worried about like, well, doesn't that wouldn't that be like a lot of repeated code? Uh, yeah, yeah. Well, there's no longer warrior that equals, super. Yeah. So that um, goes away, right? So. Why is it still mad at me? Oh. I think. I think I would just do that. Private. Aggressive. Warrior. warrior. Up at the top. Okay. Uh, and then. Warrior is equal to whatever. And then. Hmm. Why is it mad? Yeah, it's gonna be a lot no. of repeated code. Um, now we need to. We would need to repeat um, this stuff as well, which I guess we could do. Yeah. But yeah, that that seems like not the right so, thing. So then, at that point, like, can you can you make a warrior builder? abstract class I just don't know if it, if you could then uh -huh. call builder and have it work uh yeah let's see aggressive word yeah so hmm what happens if you don't do this does this line complain about a missing builder, or does it go find builder in here? I wonder. Um, I guess we could go find out. 
So that compiles, but I don't know how to do this part. Oh yeah, how to do the test. So that's not gonna work. Yeah. How do I include that other folder? Um, <laughs> I only know how to yeah, I only know how to do it here. No, it's it's mad. Uh, now it's telling me I have some null pointers. Line. Sixty-five. Ugh. Don't do that. No, I don't want that. Okay. Alrighty, I guess, jeez, that is, that is a lot, uh, oh shoot, I don't have the J unit stuff, um, and there's, uh, there's nothing in here, whoa, what is, oh, the dot .git directory, there's nothing in here that says where to download all that stuff. Dang it. Um, so even if I figure out how to compile the test mm -hmm. directory, and maybe I just did figure out how to compile the test directory, but for mm -hmm. the missing JUnit libraries. And yeah, sure yeah, yeah. In there. All right. So I'll just, yeah. uh, I'll just ask you <laughs> if it works. Um, I did. I did. I failed. All right. Yeah. So what is the issue then if we take uh, Builder out of here? If we take Builder... Yeah, if we do that. ...out. Which I did. Yeah, what is the first... And then I run... Let's, let's just... I'll run them one by one. Okay. It, it's not happy. It says, cannot assign field level because this dot warrior is null. Uh... uh okay. And is, line 20... Is there a way to try to... So... So... You're trying to run a specific test and then it takes care of compiling and then running for you? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Interesting. It, it, yeah. Okay. Um, this dot warrior is null. This dot warrior is null. Okay. And so that's mad at me. And that is Wait, which test? That's in the warrior. That's that's the Here. first test in aggressive warrior. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Correct instance. Okay. But it is so... it is also calling uh aggressive warrior dot builder, where it has a level one and then asking it to build. Yeah. 
So let's look at the stack trace there. How did it get to a this.warrior? What line of code is that? Uh, line 9, it says. So that's this line. And then I guess the line above that, warrior dollar builder. Oh, OK. So it is going into warrior.java. Uh, yeah, it's going there. And then it's going to line, what does that say? 28? Is that? 28. Okay. Yeah. OK. So here, warrior.level. So this doesn't work because this is null. Right. Uh, that makes sense. How was it not null before? Uh, yeah, how was warrior not null? Not no, I don't. I I think it's been. I think it's been null since I changed based on his change. He was saying something about the constructors, and so I don't know if I uh, missed it in his edits, but I'm pretty sure mine matched exactly. So I don't know. I don't know what else he did. Shoot. Um, uh, yeah. Okay. Well, you could here do warrior equals new uh no you can't hmm because where were you this is an abstract class so you can't make a new one of these right 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 you can't so... do i have to do we have to set it to instead of setting it to default value? Do I have to like warrior dot level equals zero or no? It has to equal. Um, I, I okay. I don't think that will. That doesn't matter. The yeah. At least not to this specific issue. This specific issue is how does warrior get a value? Right. And it so... gets a value when build is called, right? Like, isn't that how this is supposed to work? Yeah, so this is here, and this, so let's, uh, let's go back to in Aggressive Warrior, have, like, bring back the class that was here. Yeah, or the builder class. Did this, did this, um, this test used to work or no? Like before no, I don't think so. No, made. I don't. I don't think so. Oh, no, okay. no. All right. So, so we're left wondering, like, what exactly is the test? So the the source code that we see here. This is. This is correct, right? Or like we we're not expected to change this file. Correct. This we can't. Code? Correct. Correct. Okay. Correct. Correct. Okay. So we we have to write other stuff to conform to whatever this is doing. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So that's some um, that's a foothold to like to work with. Yeah. Okay. We have that. We have that. Some thing that is. Okay. Uh. So new aggressive warrior dot builder dot build. Um, so we need to, in Aggressive Warrior, somehow, dot builder, yeah, it sure does seem like you would just have to, so when you don't have this, it definitely does use the builder from the abstract yes. class. Yes. Which is nice for not having to repeat a bunch of code but then how do you get the default right um how do i get the right default values for each of those other classes the subclasses yeah and we tried Private aggressive warrior warrior. Uh, why? 
Why do you have this here? Why do I have that there? Yeah. We had added that. Uh, or did we add that, or did I have that? Uh. I'll tell you. If I had it, it'll be in defensive. Yeah, we had added that. Like as a class? Uh, no, no, no. Like when when uh we we put this in, you and I when we were. Oh, wait. Going through did. this, I think so. Or maybe I did. I I I, I can't tell. Um, uh. Okay. Well. Okay. So let's say that we we have an aggressive warrior. How. How do we get, how do we get, if we have just an aggressive warrior, mm -hmm. where is the test? Here. How do we make it so that when we do the dot builder, it has, oh, it defaults. creates an aggressive yeah. warrior. How do we do yeah, yeah. that? So then would we need the build within warrior? It's going to do like a, and like here we have public warrior build. So it's building a warrior. Do you then need a public aggressive warrior build where it returns the aggressive warrior? Is that, is that my problem? No, uh, I don't think so. Public warrior dot builder. Attack, defense, validate, build, return warrior. So, we would need to do something like right here do mm -hmm. warrior equals parent class. <laughs> new parent class something something like that mm -hmm. um and then here this thing's parent class is aggressive warrior does this look at all familiar did the teacher say anything about this no huh They gave us like... Or like it's not the parent class, it's like a wrapper outer class. Which is I'm I'm not really sure how to do that. Yeah, let's look at those slides. That looks Oh god, that's terrible. Uh <laughs> um, okay. so okay, so you have public static class builder. That has a private pizza. And that builder class is inside of the pizza class correct they had like this and this is my I, I hate how this is laid out but they had like here you have public class pizza and then oh, there's all of its fields and then this is the, they're showing the original constructor and this is the argument for like why it's bad uh and then it starts off within that pizza class you then have the builder class uh under it sorry i scrolled the wrong way and went too far that's uh okay and then that now, is a continuation of that above stuff correct correct right. i i hate how it's done because that's very i find that confusing but then uh they were saying that the better way to do your constructor is you only have the required fields so in our case it's warrior with its level int level this dot level is level and so then they're saying this is the better way to go about doing this Okay, and then do they have a thing where they have an abstract class and then concrete classes? No, of course not. No. Uh, that would make okay. too much sense, man. <laughs> uh, all right, so then, then uh, I'm thinking, let's go look up on the internet. Um, uh, an example Java, of that? Yeah. yeah, abstract, well, builder pattern with abstract class 
I don't know how much context to put in there. Yeah. Uh, abstract class with builder pattern. Yes. Thank you. <laughs> that is. I hope this isn't a duplicate. I know there are similarly named questions, but none of them seem to solve my problem. I have multiple classes that are exactly the same apart from one specific method. So I decided to create one abstract parent class. Let's call it A. A runs all the code and has one method calculate that all the subclasses implement. So far so good. My problem is all the subclasses take a lot of optional parameters so instead of creating lots of different constructors I decided to use the following builder pattern. So this sounds good. This sounds like what we're doing. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Also uh, Python has like optional arguments. Why not just do that Java? <laughs> um, <laughs> public abstract class A static class builder Public, public builder. builder. Okay. Uh, public builder bar. Build. Private A. Pro abstract. So oh, this is a constructor for A. This is outside yeah. of this. Okay. Um, okay. Oh, yeah. Uh, so I can do that when I'm browsing the web through Oh, here. <laughs> that's so cool. Yeah. That's awesome. Um, but then other stuff also gets formatted as if it's... Uh... Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Code, yeah. Uh, but that's still cool. Yeah. Blah, blah, blah. So I've seen the two solutions. None of them see... I move Builder down the subclasses of A so they can be instantiated. A lot of redundant code, yes. Uh, make A not abstract, but that would allow another user to instantiate it even though not an intended purpose am i missing something um blah, blah okay so that all seems good if parameters are optional why don't you use a constructor with no argument oh yeah that's another thing you could do is just have a bunch of different constructors java already has a built-in thing for that uh so why don't we just use that um i guess this is a simplistic example real builder code validity checks Blah, blah, okay. Um, as there are no instances, I wonder why if I, let's see, uh, copy wrong argument type nil. Um, hmm. It's kind of annoying that it loaded the page like that. I'm not sure why it's loading the page like that. Can I reflow? No, I can't. Oh, well. Um, builder can only build instances of a non-abstract subclass. Having a builder at the same level of, uh, so lets the builder decide which concrete. Having a builder at the, typically lets the builder decide which concrete subclass of A to instantiate depending on the parameters in the building process. The idea behind that is the caller isn't interested in the concrete class, just in the fact that it's a subclass of A. Uh, if your situation is different, create multiple builders. Maybe you'd have them inherit some common parts from parent builder. But in, in such mm -hmm. a situation, asking the builder has a benefit. Of it. <laughs> so, uh, That decides which which subclass to instantiate. Yeah, so that's that's kind of what I was getting at with the uh, whoops here having like some way of figuring out what the outer class is. The outer class would be mm -hmm. the whatever subclass of warrior. Right. Um, so uh, ignore the builder pattern. <laughs> Just use plain old Just <laughs> uh, uh, Multiple builders, one for each subclass to avoid repetition. They can inherit from an abstract builder at the, at A, the class A class level. level. How... So would you make that? So would you, you make have... within? Yeah. Would you make like is that? 
I just think here this would be an abstract class builder, public static abstract class builder. I guess, but the name would be builder. So. Well, if we name it. Then that name builder abstract, abstract builder. I guess you I could see. Name yeah, it I don't know. Builder. And then in each of. Uh. But okay. we have to, yeah. we have to call yeah, okay. but we like have that. to call builder but we have yeah. to call yeah um but the java name resolution is ambiguous there um so, okay okay so we could name this one abstract builder yeah uh, which is a a thing i've seen before yeah uh, abstract or we could call this one warrior builder yeah maybe um, that makes more sense uh i don't know. I've definitely seen abstract uh warrior builder. And then this is warrior. And then uh, Yeah, it's good. Uh and I guess this would be public static class. Uh where do you put abstract here? I guess so. Uh Okay. So this has methods which Yeah. Uh, so we don't need this anymore. This go yeah, this goes away. Actually, we wouldn't need the constructor at all. You don't need the constructor at all. Yeah. Okay, that makes okay. Um. Oh, but now we have warrior dot warrior builder, which that's where yeah. So is there and and it and it has to in their test they call dot builder like aggressive warrior dot builder right um so i'm curious so if we name this one uh so we're we're in public abstract class warrior and yeah. we named this one warrior builder yeah uh Let's call that one. Let's see. Public warrior builder. Oh, no, no, no. Yeah. So this one has to return. Hmm. So the, the return type of this thing needs to be. Hmm. Uh, I guess it. It could be a warrior dot warrior builder. That should be okay. And then validate. And then build returns a warrior. Okay. And then in aggressive warrior, we have, we need to somehow make a, uh, one of these, one of these inner classes that. uh extends let's just do can we do this warrior dot warrior builder warrior looks weird to me now <laughs> but uh <laughs> i know i know is this does this compile public not allowed here uh Static not allowed here. Oh, your line two has an open curly brace. Line two. And then there's no matching close curly brace. My bad. Commented. <laughs> yeah, not there either. <laughs> um. Uh, can we do this? Is is it seems like it's okay with that? It's okay with this. Yeah. Oh, awesome. All right. Well, I think that's uh that's a solution then. Yeah. This will not have uh as much repeated stuff. Um I think so then these would have to be protected in order for them to be changed down here. Uh I thought we got rid of oh, that wait a minute. or no. no. Yeah, we, we don't even we don't even need these anymore. Yeah, right. Those go uh, away. Okay, so then this has a constructor called builder. So 
public builder, which takes in a level and it creates a, uh, so we have this warrior, I guess we would do warrior equals new aggressive warrior, whoops, aggressive warrior, uh, -huh. uh with the level or, yeah. I and think then we would need a public aggressive warrior int level, which says this dot level equals level. Um, and then in here you could say warrior dot uh, attack, attack equals three. Yeah. yeah. Does this and then all warrior look like it's dot gonna compile? Defense. Ah, uh, it's yelling at me for things. Uh, is it defend or defense? Defense. So now it's giving me cannot find symbol class builder. Oh wait, defense. Well, defensive builder. I haven't even finished. Why are you doing this? I'm I'm not looking at defensive warrior. I just want to attack. But it's okay with aggressive warrior so far. I think it is. Well, how much stuff is there in defense? I mean, defensive warrior is going to be the same thing as aggressive warrior. You just copy it and then change it. It's like exactly the same. Mm -hmm. I'll just do that. I was thinking, yeah, cool. Um, and once that is done, is it okay? Find out. Uh, are there issues now? It seems to. It's still mad at me. Uh. Aggressive warrior dot builder is abstract. Cannot no. So 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 there's some other error where it oh, didn't. Whoops. Uh, this didn't. shouldn't be abstract. This should just be. Concrete. Public static. Builder. Oh, that's right. That makes total sense, actually. Uh, so defensive warrior. Defense also. Yeah. Yes. The parent one should be abstract, but not this one. Right, not the not the ones that are Hey. Okay, now it's happy. Uh, okay. Let's see. God, this gets so confusing. Okay, so now it's just yelling at me for the error messages, so I just have to make sure that they match exactly. That's yeah. fine. And then the um Okay, yeah, it's not even so. You you already have the logic to catch the different kinds of errors. So you just, yeah, yeah, I just have to make my messages, messages awesome. I just I just have to make my error messages match. Rad, that was fun. Okay, thank you. That I some of these get so confusing. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so builder extends warrior dot warrior builder. So then, is it so, yeah? Is it like better to have? Is it better to have the warrior builder as as an abstract class that hangs out out here? Because this is the direction I was thinking of going, but like I I don't know. Like pull this uh, out of uh this out of warrior, yeah. Uh, pull yeah. I should I should try to say <laughs> um pull warrior builder out of warrior warrior. I, yeah, <laughs> I don't know what the prevailing uh, logic like, or argument uh, would be of people who like this sort of thing like what do they say the right thing to do is well um, and i guess i i guess the other reason i'm confused is that even in our like lecture slides and like demonstrations we talked about yeah the builder was within like that that class so yeah if you yeah like but also in your uh, demonstrations, the class wasn't abstract, right? Like during class, this outer the warrior that is correct. The thing yes, that is the correct. Warrior wasn't abstract. Yeah. yeah. So it wouldn't yeah. make sense to make uh, a level of indirection here because um, there's no like this can be made directly. Uh, this, I see. This class, this warrior class, can be made directly. So. Uh, 
you would want to be able to use this builder directly, the warrior builder. I see. But since the, this can't be made directly, uh, since the warrior can't be made directly, then it makes sense to me that the warrior builder also wouldn't be able to be run directly. I see. Um, and that's how I see the word abstract. You can't run it directly. Uh, that's right, what that means right. to me. You um, can't construct it and, yeah, instantiate it, however they say it. Yeah. Um, I've been doing a lot of closure recently. So in the closure world, uh, the answer is just use maps. Okay. Uh, so instead of having all these classes, you have, uh, like, in closure, it looks like this, level uh, zero. Um, Defense zero, attack. Oh, interesting. Zero, and then, uh, so this is a, a key value thing. So here's a yeah. key. Here's its value. And I follow. Okay. I uh, the lack of commas is um allowed in the language. You can also have them if you want, um, but uh, it's it's totally okay not to have them. Anyway, Got so it. you just uh, so you just make uh, a data structure. So this is like this syntax where you have the curly brackets. Yeah, is just part of the language, and then right. um, uh, and then so you would just have functions that work with this data structure, and then that's it. You're done. You don't need to. Oh, do that's cool. Any of this like oh, what's the visibility? Is it an abstract? And you make a concrete. Does it have a constructor? Blah blah blah. Does it have fields? No. It's just I keys like... and values. Yeah. <laughs> um. Yeah. Anyway. Um, it's definitely Java. Java fills me with rage most days, but. <laughs> yeah, uh, but it's it's weird because uh, Clojure is like it's a JVM language, and it was Clojure oh, really? itself is built in Java. Um, really? Yeah. Uh, my my understanding of it is Rich Hickey, the guy who made Clojure, was like he's a longtime C plus plus and Java developer, and Got he it. just took all of the things that he realized were like the best practices and put them together into one language, and that's oh. what Clojure is. Oh, that's kind of cool. I'll check yeah. that out for sure. Um, cool. Uh, so. <laughs> But enough about like the stuff that I find that's not really helpful for you in your class. I'm sorry to go on. No, 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 it, that, no, no, no. That's fine. Uh, no, you helped me solve my problem, and it went like the direction that I I was thinking. It's just cool. I I was starting to get confused because of uh, just just the examples we were given, and uh, yeah, no, no, no. That makes more sense. Cool. Um. Cool. Yeah, I'm glad. I'm glad that there was like a satisfying reason that this might be different. Uh, this example is different than the examples from the class. Uh, yeah. From the oh, that term is overloaded. From the class. <laughs> um, <laughs> not that class. Uh, yeah. yeah. From your instruction. Uh, yeah. <laughs> um. So yeah. So you can't make a warrior directly. So it makes sense that you can't use the builder inside of Warrior directly, um, but you still want the benefits of being able to not repeat yourself. So it's cool to make the builder inside of Warrior be abstract and then only override the specific parts that you need to in each of the uh, concrete classes that inherit or extend from a uh, warrior and from warrior builder. Right. Um, I didn't know the way to refer to an inner class in a different file. Um, I guess this makes sense. It's basically right. the same syntax as package stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, that That's a good point. Cool. All right. Thanks, Danny. I appreciate it.